This video shows how to use a lucid chart uh, to draw UML class diagrams. Uh, LucidChart.com. Uh, if you don't have account yet, you can sign up free. That's uh, sufficient for our class. Uh, at, and then uh, as you sign in, you are ready to create documents uh, for UML diagrams. Uh, so first, create a new document. Uh, what I need is a UML category, the blank UML diagram. Uh, you can give a name of the document. Uh, and then from the provided shapes, uh, you can draw the diagram. So here I have a UML class diagram, uh, standard symbols there, but uh, it's not default. Uh, so first time you need to enable that one from more shapes button and then uh, make the UML category on so that you can see and use uh, those uh, class diagram standard symbols. Uh. So we are going to use uh, three different uh, boxes uh, to represent a class. If you have a uh, name of the class alone like student, this is the shape. Uh, and then another case is that you have a name and uh, some methods. Uh, uh, this is the one. And another case is you have a name and the properties and then uh, methods. Uh, you use this one. So given the class shapes, uh, now you can represent uh, the relationship. So you can draw a line or ar arrow or those symbols. Uh, so suppose you are going to show just the general association, which is a simple line. Draw this way and the choose the line by clicking and then change the shape. So there is no head in the line. So this is general uh, relationship. So let me choose a change. This one is a faculty. And then let's change this, is for example, course. Uh, then uh, we want to uh, give us some um, uh, multiplicity information. Suppose uh, uh, one faculty is assigned to a course. Uh, then uh, add the multiplicity here. So only one faculty is assigned uh, to teach zero through three courses. And then if you want to add uh, the activity of this relationship, we want to type a letter that is available here from standard. Uh, so drag uh, that one and then type TG is the relationship of the association. Uh, you can uh, move uh, the text box or resize the text box, so on. And then in our class no, uh, user, the notation, the black and the triangle head is used uh, to show the direction of this activity teach. The direction is from faculty to course. Uh, unfortunately, the lucid chart uh, does not have uh, uh, that symbol under UML class diagram. So a trick is uh, from shapes. Uh, so pick up a uh, triangle and then rotate it to the direction to make it small enough uh, to look like as a triangle and then fill the color with a black then we have uh, the symbol representing the direction of the activity suppose uh, we have uh, well, some other uh, course uh, such as uh, here uh, professor and then professor is a uh, uh, child of a uh, faculty class uh, subclass then <coughs> we draw a line and then choose the line and the change the shape uh, so this is a uh, uh, inheritance relationship of course as you're clicking the line you can reverse the line direction if uh, you want to change it 
Another one is, uh, suppose uh, a professor uses a course, so he has a dependency, uses a relationship, for example, then draw the relationship line. And the use is a, is a uh, arrow with a dashed line. So change uh, those shapes uh, and line types uh, accordingly. And if you want to do uh, ownership relationship, uh, suppose uh, I have another class. Uh, here is a car and another class. Uh, here is a uh, engine. A car owns uh, an engine. So let's use ownership relationship. Uh, so this diamond is ownership aggregation, but car and engine, the relationship is a composition. Then we need to change the head shape and color. So we have a composition relationship here. So this is a sample demonst demonstration how to use a lucid chart for drawing UML diagrams.